Welcome back to another Let's Play of Constructor. In the last session, we had cut the enemy loose. We're going to let them build as they saw fit. I was somewhat short of cash and not able to continue my dreams of expansion because I don't really want to take out a loan from the bank. But I'm not going to let little things slow me down. We'll take out 25,000 pounds. We invest it all into cash producing properties such as these. Then we might be okay. I can build two more of this particular style of home. I don't know why there's a restriction. But that's. Hello? There's probably some reason right for that. Game balance right or um, we don't have any blinking houses, so our houses are doing okay. What are these guys doing? What are you, what are you guys doing? Did they really find it faster? Okay. We built some subway stations. We need to set one of these down because these guys are insane. They take the weirdest ways to get to some of these places. They truly do. The way they calculate their paths, very interesting. It's not how I would choose to do it. You gotta get some tenants in and pay rent. Build one more of these. I'll make it a skinny one. Also the front. All these guys will soon be complaining about trees. Let's just cut that off. This guy should have a little yard to complain. This guy will complain. This guy will complain. I'm not sure what they're going to complain to. Okay. Let's see if we have enough to build this last home. 9,200 with the extra land. Oh, we just got rent. We can afford it. Get the hippies in. Do we have some hippies? Something I have not been keeping an eye on is whether or not we are producing our tenants. And we have one more level two tenant in HQ. Okay. And two more in production. Probably. Let's get in this home. Get the fence up. Get these guys in. And Financially, we are now generating a much higher income, which will hopefully support the repayment of both the taxes and interest on this money. Whether it will support the repayment of the principal is another issue. And actually, they just take the interest right out of our funds. They don't bother with adding it to the loan amount. They take it out right there, seventeen fifty. I expect it would be more next year. Right. Time. And do we have a tenant to move in there? Not quite yet. And this person's a little unhappy. what they're unhappy about. They do have a small yard. They have the smallest house in the smallest yard. The smallest yard. Okay. Now we can build a brick yard, which allows us to build brick houses. Leave guys in. Give them one of these. I'm wondering about these guys. I'm going to give them a ground upgrade. Okay, this is a mission from the council, so we have to do their dirty work for them. They want us to get rid of a tenant of one of our competitors. Okay, 
So there's a couple ways to do this. At this point, the method we have access to is taking over the property. And of course it has a huge fence. Okay, take over. So we'll send all of our foremen over here to take over this property. What will probably very rapidly happen is the red team will respond with some of their workers who will come and shoot nails at our foremen and prevent them from busting down the fence and taking over the property. So with some quick keyboarding, we may be able to make this work. I know they're not responding yet. They have a guy standing there. <coughs> Looks like we may get it. Just because this guy may be responding. That guy obviously wasn't. He just came to look around. Like, hey, I'm going to go check this out. No, this guy just came to check it out too. He's like, hey, what's up? Okay, so this is now our property. It's my intention to sell it to the council for the money. all my guys from the property and our council relationship we have 200 white marks which we can convert at 100 at a time into 10,000 in cash this will allow us to pay off the bank loan good very nice oh what is the problem here we must perform emergency repairs Okay, we never set a repairman for this property. So we created a repairman, we'll move him what do you want? to this block. Set him to auto repair and he will maintain the property to keep them from catching on fire. Apparently they're very shoddy, they must be maintained on a regular basis. The councilman here is going to blow up this home that he just paid $5,000 for. So that's why these guys were unhappy. Their house was on fire. Oh well. We've got a blinking house here. Our tenant is gone. Do we need more workers? We have 14, 1, we're going to need more level 1 tenants, because the tenants kind of die in waves. That's just the way these things work. Level 2 tenants here, and level 2 tenants. How are we doing? And again, if we end up with too many in HQ, we will be docked by the council. The council is not our friend. If we were to fail that mission on destroying this particular piece of property, or getting the tenant out, our game would be over. They're, they're very strict. Um... Still creating workers, yes we are. Let's generate another repairman. Have him ready, standing by on this block, which I'm going to purchase. And we are going to build a brickyard here. Let's spin this around this way. I just prefer having the entrances over there. We only have one. Pointed towards the center of my group of people. And now we can tell him to auto repair. But since there are no buildings yet on the block, he just stands there. Next, we'll be able to build level three properties. And we'll move in our work team. Three. Hello? Right some extra workers on the team. It looks like the one guy disappeared, died, who knows. Oh, he probably got used up. 
It's one of the strange things about this is that it will actually take people off of your existing work teams. Right -o. Right -o. And turn, convert them. And again, we lost right another tenant. This guy going, workers. Something's been built. Their timber yard. Okay. Here. And again, we're slowly building. I'd rather my focus were on level two homes. I can build four of those and three of those. Put rent payers in them. We are under attack. This worker is going to come over here and he'll shoot at this guy, try to beat him up, which scares him off. I think that's a nail gun. Who knows? I'll work crew to repair the fence. Um, so, you guys are getting a little more aggressive. We probably need to invest in a mob HQ. This does not make us money, as with most things, in this game. But we'll build it. It will give us a mobster, which we can then use to defend our properties and attack our enemy's properties. One possibility in this game is to just go and literally destroy the enemy as quickly as possible. In fact, let's do that. I've had enough of his smug attitude. We're going to get these mob guys going, get these guys going, workers. Just workers, lots of workers. As many workers as we can produce. Is this guy right here? He don't mess around. We're gonna go yeah. tear up the other guy's stuff. We're gonna make mobsters. Who's the stiff? Let's go. What's the problem? Let's, Let's see if these two guys can go destroy my enemies. Could work. If we can take out this headquarters, we'll be in good shape. So these guys are over here, they're beating up the building. Again, this guy got into a fight. This guy. He is getting beat up kind of bad. But again, we we may not make it. This may not quite be enough to do it. And this guy's getting beat pretty bad. He's like four on one. Let's have this guy retreat. Is he going to be able to retreat? Doesn't look like it. They've got him cornered. Turns out that two gangsters was not enough. And we've got seven bribes. Still got our two mobsters, we'll let these guys rest up for a while. Stuart. Yeah. 
Let's go. Yep. So go as the these guys kill people, they're able to get better and better weapons if I can afford it. It's always something, right? Let's send these guys. I need to get some level 3 tenants because I need to get some bribe generators. Once these guys collect it, I'll kick them out and then put in a fresh level 3 generating tenant. And we'll get some level 3 homes going over here. Spin this around. And as usual, shorter resources. So you gotta keep an eye on your resources up here. Keep moving your work gangs back in, back out. I kind of feel like work gang number three is is not not an effective work gang because you probably don't have any workers left in it. We've got a level 3 house, we have no level 3 tenants available. As usual. These guys have a computer. But they've had too many children. So we'll move in a new group, but we need to repair the bedroom. When you kick tenants out, you'll take the risk that they will destroy your house. We've got an unhappy tenant. Really not surprising. Have level three tenants in ninety days. We have one level three house, and we'll use that to generate more bribes to the mafia. We have enough workers. You talking to me? Let's see. Let's try another attack. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Now I'm going to bring in my work gangs hey? right in here, Hello? Right so hopefully Hello? we're going to use these guys to fight their guys. Looks like one of our gangsters was killed. Let's go. No, he was only knocked out. Who's the stiff? So we'll let these guys rest up. 
give it another shot in a bit. Move in these guys. And we keep moving forward. Financially, we seem to be in pretty good shape. We've got a good monthly income. No loans. We don't owe the tax man. We will soon, I'm sure. What we can do is take over their properties and sell them. It's a fun strategy for getting money. But I'm tired of that. I think it's time for our mafia boys. Yeah, let's go. Oh, let's go. What's the problem? Let's go. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna form a group with these guys. You talking 12. to me? Group twelve. Uh, I'm come over here, and we need to get some people killed. Yeah, They need to upgrade their weapons. Yes. What's the problem? So we gotta get this guy built up. You talking to me? Go get this guy. It's done. What's the problem? Let's go. Okay, no more use of the mob until I start producing the mobs and favors. Because you're like children. And we are under attack. It'd be really nice if we could use uh, the mob to fend this guy off, but we used up all of our favors killing him. I'm gonna teach this guy a lesson.
Okay. I truly do feel that I'm about done with this let's play. And the enemy is a bit of a mess. He stunted his growth for so long, he's about unable to compete. I have no favors with the Mafia, so I can't move forward with that approach. And I'm, I'm truly done. Um, 